school year 2013 to 14 will be the first year that New York State produces an Algebra 1 Common Core Regents that students will have to take. Here are some samples provided by the state in May of 2013 with a comparison with the old integrated algebra problem. So here's the first one, sample question one. It shows an XY table and we're supposed to find the rate of change. Here's the new one. It shows three different functions. F of X in the middle is an XY table. G of X is a formula. H of X is a graph. And we're supposed to find the average rate of change over the intervals. So when I first saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, it's so much harder. Let's look at number two. For number two, the old way looked like this. The old way had the formula, which you could technically put into a graphing calculator, but they show you the graph. And here they want to know the roots. In this new common core, they give you the roots, and they want to know which equation it is. Now in this one, I've blacked out the answer, because having the answer on the same sheet as the problem is problematic. Okay, let's go on to number three. Sample question number three says which equation has these two roots? It's now correlated. Instead of calling them roots, they're calling them zero. That looks pretty similar to what it used to be. And number four looks like this. This is the old. If n is an odd integer, which equation can be used to find three consecutive odd integers? Uh, this one connects it with the Pythagorean theorem. has a right triangle with the shortest side and then asks us to write algebraic equations. And the answer here shows a right triangle with the three different sides. So you can see in Common Core what they're trying to do is to create an equation used to solve a problem. As opposed to here, they are just having algebra not get into geometry. So the next month we'll have some more Common Core problems to look at. Uh, right now these are up online at engagenewyork.org. If you do a search for Math Regions NTI, you can find this document online. Thank you very much.